Hi guys, so today is obviously a new kind of video. Um, I'm back to filming horizontally again. The only difference is um, my camera is actually kind of down here in this sort of bottom right left corner depending on how the screen will flip. Um, because I'm not actually filming on my camera. My camera is currently broken so I'm filming on my phone. <laughs> So if I forget to look at the camera and I kind of look over here, I'm actually looking at myself, so we're just gonna have to make sure that this works. I'm trying it out, I'm currently in the process of saving up for a new camera, but I cannot promise anything and I just really hate filming vertically like my past few videos have been. So we're gonna go ahead and try it this way, so please bear with me. But in the spirit of my past few videos, which have been using non-monochromatic palettes, so basically not like the ColourPop 9 pans per se, where where it's like blue or purple or pink. We did use two ColourPop 9 pans. We did use the ColourPop Mandalorian and the Child palette. And then we also just in the last video used the Boudoir Noir palette. So I'm going to continue that trend and today we are going to be using the Adeline Morin X Tarte palette. So this palette came out a while ago. Obviously it was a collaboration from Tarte with Adeline Morin. And so I've actually had this palette for a while. I've actually made a video on it. I think I've made several. Um, I'm not gonna link them because they're bad, but if you want to go find them, go ahead. But anyway, I figured we kind of continue this trend and use another non-monochromatic palette. And so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. So in today's video, we are going to be using the Adeline Morin X Tarte palette. Okay, so due to the nature of this palette, which has a blush and a highlight, I have made a small deviation from my normal base routine, which I think will be linked in the iCard right about now. So due to the nature of this palette, because it does have a blush and a highlighter shade, I've made a small deviation from my normal base routine, and so I use Use the included highlight and blush. So we have the Promise Ring highlight and we have the I Feel Beautiful blush. Sorry, this is kind of difficult to maneuver, but I just wanted to let you guys know that if you are following my base tutorial for this video, I did use the product actually in the palette. So I'm just gonna do a little quick overview of the palette really fast. So it's yellow and it has all these little lemons and they have little green leaves. And then some of the lemons are outlined in white and then some of them are outlined in this sort of metallic gold foil. And then there is a pink rectangle that says Adeline Morin Tarte and then on the back it's that same repeating pattern and then there is also the logo of her dog blue so we're gonna go ahead and get into this palette so the inside of the palette has a mirror and it says Adeline X Tarte and then there are nine different shades and then the highlight and the blush shade we've already talked about so due to the nature of this new format filming horizontally I'm not gonna be able to hold the palette up on screen and have you guys still be able to see me so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tell you the shade name and the location and then hopefully that should be enough information for you to use. So we're going to start with Mama Morin and it is the shade that is in the left column middle row and we're going to go in with this ColourPop E23 brush and we're just going to go ahead and do what we always do with our first color where we're just going to work it almost up to our brow bone but around the entire crease of our eye and then work it in the outer corner and then halfway down the lower lash line as well. Alright so now that we've got this color laid out sort of in like an oval shape we're really not going to or I'm going to try not to wing it out today. We are going to be moving to the top row middle column to the shade called contour and we're just going to be taking that and just working that slightly more inwards. We're still using the same brush but we're trying to work contour a little more into our crease but then we're going to go ahead and work it around the outer corner as well. Okay, so now that we have contour laid out, we're gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is the ColourPop E28, and we're gonna go into the color that is on the right column, middle row. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of trouble saying the right names. It's called Beep Up. It's a darker brown shade, and we're gonna go ahead and work that into the outer corner, and then to that slight end of our crease. You don't want to go all the way inside, obviously, but you just want to begin to work it out into your crease. All right, so now that we've laid Beep Bop down and it's a little thick, we're going to go back in with that E23 brush and just begin to sort of blend it out and diffuse it. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with this same little E23 brush we're using and I'm just going to get the lightest tap of Beep Bop and just use it to kind of help blend it out and to darken the outer corner. When I say the lightest tap, I mean the lightest tap. Otherwise, 
always you're gonna find that you have a whole lot of dark product that you do not want on your brush. Alrighty, so now that we've gone ahead and worked all of these colors around our eyes, we've used Mama More and Contour and Beat Bob, we're gonna go ahead and do a cut crease. And so the way that I do my cut crease is I get my concealer shade. This is a ColourPop Fair 10N concealer. And then I literally use a paintbrush. I say this every video. I made a joke about it last video. And you're literally just going to paint a little bit of concealer onto your flat brush. It doesn't have to be a paintbrush, but just a flat brush. And then go ahead and use that to carve out the shape that you want for your cut crease. And for today's cut crease, we want it to be just slightly above your actual crease. We don't want to go too far up and we don't want it to stop right at your cut crease but just slightly above. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and actually created the cut crease on our eye, like I said, I didn't go too high up and I also didn't go too low and I kind of went around two thirds of my eye and that's typically where I always do my cut creases. Just if you're ever wondering, I think that's a good place to create a cut crease. We're gonna go back in with our palette and so we are going to take the color that is in the I'm trying to think. We're gonna take the color that is in the top row right column called Law of Attraction, and it's a little bit of a shimmer shade, so we're gonna take a flat brush. This is the color Pop E25. We're just gonna take that color, and we're gonna work it all the way from not quite the inner corner, but it's really this front part of our eyelid. And just take a little bit of extra care when you're reaching the edges of the cut crease. If you wanna go in with a smaller brush to really carve it out, please feel Feel free and also take a little bit of care when you do the outer edges of your cut crease to keep them clean you can totally go in and use a smaller brush so now that I've gone ahead and laid down law of attraction on the majority of my eyelids we're gonna go ahead and move to the bottom right of the palette it is called beautiful magical wonderful it's also a shimmer shade we're gonna go ahead and use that to blend law of attraction and beat bop together okay so now we're gonna go back and repeat a step I'm just a big fan of making the outer corners of my eyes very dark because it helps to create the illusion that your eye is actually bigger so we're gonna go in with Bebop again and I'm actually going to take a slightly larger brush. You still want a brush that's pretty compact so you don't want a brush that is too flimsy. You want a brush that is definitely packed with bristles and this is the ColourPop E27 and go in with Bebop and really just darken the outer corner of your eyes. It just really helps to create this illusion that your eyes are actually a little bit bigger because we're pulling the outer corners so far backwards using the kind of shades. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with that same big fluffy brush we've been using, the E22, just to blend it out a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some of the last steps of our eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop E26 brush. We're gonna go to the bottom right color. It's called Girls Supporting Girls. And you wanna do this on kind of like a compact brush. And we're gonna go ahead and put it on the lower lash line, just that kind of first half where we don't already have product. And I'm doing this one because it's a matte shade versus a shimmer so it's not going to take away from our eyelids. Okay and now to blend girl supporting girls with the shadow on the outer half of our eye I'm going to take the same brush and we're going to go to the color next to girl supporting girls. It's called Boss Lady. It's like a bright orange kind of color and we're literally just going to use it to try to bridge that gap. You don't need too much at all. We're just trying to make the transition from the deeper browns to that bright yellow a little bit smoother. Okay and then for the last step of our eyeshadow we are going to do a little bit of an outer corner highlight. I already went ahead and highlighted my brow bone and this highlighter is very pigmented, the one that came with this palette. And so I'm just going to take a little brush. I have no idea what brand this is, please don't ask me. Um, but it's just a little small brush and we're going to take the highlight shade that comes in the palette promise ring and we're just going to go ahead and pack that into the inner eye corner and sort of spread it out a little bit. You don't just want to have a dot but you really want to make sure you focus in on that inner eye corner because it's really going to help to brighten up your eye makeup. Okay, so that's the last step of our eye makeup using the Adeline Warren X Tarte Palette. We still have a couple steps though, so we're gonna go ahead and keep moving right along. Okay, so this next step is completely optional for two reasons. One, I'm gonna be switching to a different palette, and two, it involves glitter, which some people are very against using glitter around the eyelid area. So we're gonna be dipping into the ColourPop Aha uh -huh Honey Palette, and we are going to be taking the middle shade, which is a 
Pressed Glitter shade. It's called Palooza. And I'm taking a flat brush from ColourPop. This is the E30. And I'm just gonna take some of that glitter on that flat brush. And we're going to apply it to our eyelid, just where that yellow Girl Supporting Girls color was. And again, because we are using glitter, which can be super sharp, we're gonna make sure to be super careful. And while you want to get it on your eyeshadow, you don't wanna get it in your eye. And once you get to that gradient between uh, the yellow color and some of the darker browns, you're just gonna kind of want to fade out the sparkles. You really don't want them to be on the brown, so just kind of follow the gradient and stop the sparkles when you feel it's appropriate. Okay, and for the final step of today's eye makeup look, we are gonna be going in with the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick. This is in the shade Cosmic Yellow, and you're just gonna go ahead and take this little liner stick and pull down your waterline and go ahead and line your waterline with this yellow stick. Um, if you don't have yellow, orange could work very well too, and if you do not feel comfortable putting anything in your waterline, please don't. This is an optional step. But I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline off camera, finish up my makeup look, and then I will be right back. Okay, so here is the finished makeup look. I'm not gonna tell you everything that I used off camera, but I will let you know that the lipstick shade is from ColourPop. It is a lippy stick, and it is called Ziggy. But if you have any questions about any other products that I use, they will be in the description box below. And depending on what platform you're watching it on, it may or may not have a tag to the creator, but if you have any questions, please let me know. But anyway, like I said, this is the completed makeup look. I honestly, I think it's super pretty, and I'm not a big, like, ready orange kind of person per se and I just really think that this looks so nice and I really think that using the NYX Epic Wear Liner in yellow really helped to make the yellow both on the top lid and the lower lash line really pop. So again we use the Alan Warren X Tarte palette. This is a bit of an older palette but I think they still sell it on Tarte's website. All I know is that you cannot get it at Sephora but you can get it at Ulta. I think it retails for like $37. But anyway, like I said, this is the Alan Warren X Tarte palette. I think it's really great. It is a very warm tone palette though. It's got a lot of like warm browns, oranges, yellows. So if you're not interested in those kind of colors, this isn't necessarily the palette for you. But the blush and the highlight are super pigmented. I think they can work against a wide variety of skin tones. So if you're looking for a warm tone palette that's sort of like an all-in-one palette, not just eyeshadow, but also so a blush or a highlight maybe for like an on-the-go palette or if you're just getting started building your makeup collection. I definitely think that this is a good palette for you to have in your collection. So overall, I rate this palette 10 out of 10. I'll see you guys next time.